Hi, this is Chef Joel. Uh, I just wanted to share with you a little video that me and my wife did during the Labor Day holiday, and it is a grilled pineapple chutney. Uh, we are very excited about getting into making uh, chutneys, jams, and jellies. Uh, so I wanted to share this little video of what we made on that day. So enjoy the grilled pineapple chutney. Have a great day. So you can see that on the pot here I have vinegar, organic sugar, uh, onions and garlic and what I'm doing is I'm reducing this to a syrup and then I'll be adding in some Granny Smith apples, dark raisins, and grilled pineapple. Man, and this pineapple is so awesome tasting. I almost I weighed it out and I had like 22 ounces and I ended up eating two ounces. Well one of the key things to making a chutney is to reduce the sugar and vinegar to a syrup. So as you can see the uh, bubbles are getting a lot thicker that means the reduction is is working and one of the other keys is don't breathe in the vinegar smell because it will choke you up and you'll have problems breathing. So I'll show you, in a, in a, it should be ready in about another, about two more minutes, and then I'll be adding in the apples and let those cook down. Okay, here is the finished product here. You can see that it's very, very thick and syrupy, nice brown color. And you can see how it slowly runs off the rubber spatula. So that is the texture or the thickness that I'm looking for for this base. So now I'm going to add in my apples and let that cook for 10 minutes. All right, here we are with the apples and the raisins um, cooking uh, at a more of a slow boil. And you can see that the bubbles are starting to get bigger. So the water in the apples are cooking out and the apples are gonna get soft and this will again make the sauce a little syrupy. Alright, this is what the apple raisin mixture looks like when the moisture has boiled out. So now we're going to add the well-drained grilled pineapple to this. And I'm also going to add any leftover liquid uh, that can go into here for flavor. So I'm going to cook this for another 10 minutes and when that's done I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the final piece. Uh, we've cooked it for another 10 minutes, just turned it off, left it on the stove and just add it in the mint. So I got fresh mint in here and then I'm going to add some salt and pepper just for to enhance the flavors and we will be ready for grilled, I think I might do lamb maybe some grilled lamb tomorrow with a grilled pineapple, apple and raisin chutney. Sounds yummy. Alright here's our finished product and you can see it's a nice color nice thickness. What we're going to do is we're going to scoop this and using this funnel we're going to put it inside these jars, seal them with the lids and then boil, put them in water and boil them for 10 minutes to sterilize the jars. And then we will have grilled pineapple chutney. Have a great day!